So it's been about three hours since I got here and started demoing. Uh, all this is on my own, so uh, I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can uh, in this renovation. But uh, come check it out, what you can do in three hours. When you do a couple of these, you learn some tricks. And this is what happens when you put plywood behind a shower. Plywood is not used to reflect water, it causes a lot of damage. So just one of the surprises so far in this new duplex. So it's been about three hours since I got here and started demoing. Uh, all this is on my own, so uh, I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can uh, in this renovation. But uh, come check it out, what you can do in three hours. When you do a couple of these, you learn some tricks. So ripped out all the lovely smelling of cat piss carpet. We ripped out, ripped out all the flooring in every single room. Keeping these windows open for now. Absolutely smells like cat pee still. I wish there was smell-o-vision so you guys can see the day in a life. That's all gone. The smell actually has gotten better though. I took off the uh, mask. This I believe is most likely asbestos so I think we're just gonna go right over top of it. Um, not, you don't mess with that. That stuff's very cancerous. And then uh, the bathroom, a little bit of water, but got the uh, toilet out, vanity out. Got some mold there, but that's what happens when you put plywood behind a shower. So I'm gonna rip out all of this and uh, that's gonna be the cement board. I forget what they call it. I think dent shield or something like that. Those were a pain in the you know what to get off, so that's gonna be tomorrow. But uh, three hours, and I filled up about a quarter of the bin out there. So um, overall, pretty good. I mean, I think this would have you probably would have paid a one or two thousand bucks to get a guy to come in here and and demo it himself. So cost savings. I might want to just turn this up a little bit. I don't know why, but I'm gonna do that. But here it is, guys. This is it. This is day in the life of a real estate investor during a pandemic and during a recession. So thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you click subscribe, smash that like button, share this content, and I'll see you in the next video.